Today we're going to be talking about 360 degree live video in Facebook using vMix. And to do that, we're going to need some special equipment. For this particular demo, we're going to be using the Ricoh Theta. And this is a fairly inexpensive 360 degree camera that has two lenses on it. And we're taking the USB video into uh, vMix. And you can see on the left there, it's these two uh, circular looking windows. That's because these are each um, wide angle 180 degree lenses and they match together. And what we've done is we've used vMix, uh, a UV map in vMix to unwrap them into this image that you see here so that you can see the 360 degree, you see the entire room uh, all around us. And we don't necessarily need to use a Rico to do this. Uh, this just happens to be a fairly inexpensive way of doing it. There are other applications that do stitching. There are some solutions that have built-in stitching. So there's a lot of different ways of getting to this point where you've got the 360 degree video in vMix. This just happens to be an inexpensive one that I'm showing you today. So we have the video in vMix. And what's the next step? In order for us to bring that to Facebook, we need to go into here to the gear icon and go into Facebook settings. And you'll see in here, because I've checked advanced, there's a 360 degree option here. So check advanced, check 360, enter in your information. So I'm gonna be streaming to the vMix training group and I'm going to create stream. And then I'm going to, um, start the stream. So now that we've started the stream, we'll just wait for it to buffer up for a minute and go check it. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some elements to our live stream. So instead of just streaming the 360 degree video, we're also going to be adding uh, value to it. So we've created this um, way of mapping video in there. If I had put, if I put any elements in here, they're going to look like they're mapped to the inside of a sphere. So if I put a graphic on there, like a lower third, it's going to have curvature to it. If I put a window on there, it's going to look like it's mapped to the inside of a sphere. So we've created this way of uh, reversing that so that when we put, I'm going to bring this up here, this is an effect that lets me counter map that. So I'll put um, this camera in here. So you see it kind of has a curvature to it. And on, on the flat video, it, it looks wrong. But when we go and check our live stream here in a second, you'll see that it's it's mapped correctly. And we have four windows that we can work with here. I'll put a graphic um, on one side. And then on the left, I'll put uh, my other camera. So I've created two cameras and a graphic. Um, in fact, let me, instead of on the left, I'll put none. I'll put this one on the back. So you can kind of see that it's split between the two. So in one direction, we'll have me facing forward and on the other direction, we'll have me facing over here. And I'm going to bring that to my program window. And there's one other element I want to add. I've created a ticker uh, to be down at the nadir. Um, Nader, yeah, Nader's correct, Ralph Nader. Um, so this uh, lower third will appear at the bottom. And let's see if our stream has showed up yet into, let's go to the, we need to go to the group, not the page. Group, not page. This is the page. Um, <laughs> easiest way is for me to go home and then go to vMix training. Nope. That was the previous demo. Let's see if our live stream is up here now. There it is. So here's our live stream. Um, and as you can see, when I click around it, you can see here's me perspectively correct uh, mapped to this window. So that curved window now looks completely square. And if we look down, we can see our ticker, 360 degree live ticker mapped around the bottom. And if we look over here, we can see this is our Logitech camera. So this is our forward camera. And then we look up, there's a fan spinning, um, and we can look around the room. So this is our live 360 degree video with perspectively correct um, mapped videos 
uh, where's our graphic? So we've got a graphic in there, which is also orthogonal. And then you can see me uh, actually from the camera right above the um, right above the graphic. So it's good that I, I placed that graphic there so that you can see me. You can see the camera that uh, is being shot in this window. And you can see how live 360 degree video works in um, in vmix. So those are some of the elements that are involved uh, and how you can do real time 360 video from vmix on a budget. Um, straight to Facebook live with correctly perspective graphics and all of the elements here are available. Um, so if you have any questions, please post in the vMix training Facebook group and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.